So the problem gives us that x plus 1 over y equals 2 and y plus 1 over z equals 1 half and asks for x, y, z. Before we jump in, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So we know that x, y, z is a product. So by intuition, we are going to multiply the left side of these two equations together and the right side of them together. So it would be x plus 1 over y parentheses times y plus 1 over z and 2 times 1 half is 2 over 2 which equals 1 right so we're gonna distribute the x to the y and the 1 over z and the 1 over y to the y and to the 1 over z so x times y is x y plus x times 1 over z is x over z plus, so now we move on to this term. So 1 over y times y is y over y, which is 1, plus 1 over y times 1 over z is 1 over y, z, and this equals 1. So we see that there's a 1 here and a 1 here, so those cancel out because we can do minus 1 to each side of this equation. So we'll take this one out, take this one out. This would be zero, and you can just add a big plus here. So we see that we have x, y here, and now here we have x, y, z. So I'm going to multiply these two, this side of the equation by z and this one by z. So let's do it. This side by z and this side by z. So, z times xy is xyz, and we have the same numbers, plus, so z times x over z, so the z's cancel out, so we're left with x, plus, so z times 1 over yz, so the z's will cancel out, so all that's left is 1 over y, and this equals 0, because 0 times any number is 0. So, we see that x plus 1 over y is the same as x plus 1 over y in this equation, and we know that x plus 1 over y equals 2, so we can just substitute 2 here. So, that means that x, y, z plus 2 equals 0, right? So, we can minus 2 on both sides of this equation to get that x, y, z equals negative 2, so negative 2 would be your final answer.